so much for stopping by and I appreciate you all. It is um, later on in the evening on Wednesday the 5th in the United States. Uh, if you're in Australia or China, it's the 6th of February and it's early in the morning. Um, I just wanted to uh, briefly go over the fact that I found a really good doctor who's been tracking this illness and detailing it for us. And I've taken notes on this and watched several other... I've been, I've been studying this in between on and off. I've been watching videos uh, that people on the ground in China have been posting. Um, a lady uh, was in Wuhan offering... She spoke English. She said the people, a lot of them didn't speak English. She could speak Chinese. And she said they weren't wearing these um, masks, the proper kind of masks. She was saying you have to wear, watch. Uh, by the way, I'm just putting this below. These are like my notes. They aren't, they're kind of rough draft. So if you notice a typo, I can correct it later. But I, it's late at night where I'm at and I'm going to have to turn in. But what I'm going to do is uh, just let you know what I've uh, learned and what I think and what you should do if uh, but this is not legal or medical advice basically this stuff is pretty highly contagious um, like I said there's this doctor uh, John Campbell who's got a really great channel and I went through several of his videos today took notes I've taken a couple of screenshots of them and I just want to say that he is somewhere uh, where they use uh, Celsius rather than Fahrenheit. I put the link below on how to translate that. You can just go to one of these calculators online and plug in the numbers. He has some really nice print-ups and nice drawings and graphics that he's hand drawing. Um, I personally am not, uh, but anyway you can look at these notes to get more information from what I wrote. Uh, oh yeah, okay, so the, the mask is called an N95 mask. That is the kind of mask you need if you want to get rid to be protected. You need to have goggles over your eyes. Um, the the masks that they're wearing in China and they, they show people getting arrested in some of these videos in China and honestly those uh, thin uh, masks are not going to stop it. There's a number of symptoms uh, that can happen. By the way he's using the spelling here. This spelling is um, British or UK type spelling in America we spell uh, some of these words a little bit differently but most of the English is spelled the same my spellings are American English my pronunciation is American English with a little bit of New Yorker and Virginia and Midwesterner I also was a military wife so I lived in El Paso and Georgia I picked up a little bit of accents but anyway, so I'm American English. Here's Dr. Campbell's videos, and I actually wanted to show you really quickly one of his other videos, which I almost finished watching, but I really, I need to get asleep. He was uh, showing in this video that he uploaded earlier a score that they use to see your likelihood of getting this disease, and if you're you add these numbers up to see if you're more likely okay so uh, to he was talking about more likely to have complications or die um, so basically he was saying that over in his country I think he's in the UK but I'm not totally positive um, he was saying that um, the uh, health department they have there or whatever it's called is saying about 2% of people but of the people that went in the hospital in some of these articles 11% were dying 
but that is the people that go to the hospital. There's a lot of people that get sick and they don't go to the hospital. A lot of people that get sick and they don't get tested. But if you if you have if you're 60 and over, give yourself a two. If you have hypertension, that's high blood pressure, give yourself a two. If you were a smoker in the past, but you quit, give yourself a two. If you're currently a smoker, you give yourself a three. So you add these up, two, four, six. And let's say you have a bacterial co-infection, six and four is ten. Now, I don't know what this multilobular infiltration is, but I believe it might be the lobes in your lungs. Um, I, wa I, I watched this a while ago, and then I stopped. Lymphopenia. You know, I, these are signs that you're at a high risk. Uh, if you're over 12, if this adds up to over 12. But anyway, um, I wanted to just kind of share some of these uh, different things but I'd like you to see how fast this real-time map is and you can go to this yourself um, I guess we could just I, I've got the link below to this I believe or you can just google it Celsius to Fahrenheit Fahrenheit you can reverse this too um, you can do anything uh, time I don't know. Anyway, so let's take a look at this real quick. And then I have to, um, I got to get running. I, I really wish that the health departments and the government would be more vigilant. Because uh, in the United States, at least, I wish they would. There's so many ways this can spread. And we just do not use uh, sanitary practices to prevent the spread of disease. And we downplay the spread of disease when, in fact, it can be spread on hard objects and cloth and just about anything. And um, we need to have a better system for controlling the spread of these outbreaks because it's probably going to turn into a pandemic just based on the antiquated ways that um, this is uh, being treated. I mean, the, the, I, I don't want to say it's, it's totally bad, but I think there's like this balancing act and they don't want people to be overly uh, you know scared you know like shipping stuff and commerce they don't want to stop commerce I I've gotten sick going in a doctor's office because they don't sanitize all the surfaces uh, repeatedly and regularly they don't sanitize the little tablet that they have at the doctor's office that they have everybody touch. They don't make people sanitize that stuff. Bathrooms are hotbeds of germs. And I'm not going to get into this too much to tonight. I'm just I'm going to come back in the morning maybe depending on if I have time. But right now, it's, it's not that many cases that are, are being found in the United States. They're at the port of entry areas, mostly in the border states, by the ocean, uh, by the... This is actually Canada here, and that's Canada. And I don't think there's anything in Alaska, is there? Alaska up here is part of the United States, but it's like, okay, so this is the Pacific Ocean. So a lot of stuff from here, from west, goes over to east. Uh, but New York's a big uh, port area, and so is Toronto. So these uh, bigger cities, like Chicago, Illinois, by the Great Lakes, is a very heavily heavily populated area and the thing about this is 
these densely populated areas. Um, oh, Madison, Wisconsin? Interesting. Yeah, I believe this is near, um, gosh, that's like right in the center. Hmm. Okay, well, that's interesting. And what's over here? Is this Detroit, Michigan? London, what? Is this, this is part of Canada, right? Yeah, it's in, in Ontario, Canada. So here's Lake Erie. Lake Erie, Erie goes in New York, Buffalo, New York, Pennsylvania, and I think this is Ohio. It's one of the big finger lakes. It even goes over... Um, so this is the United States of America, Michigan, Detroit, Michigan. That's uh, So you can see Canada kind of overlaps with uh, America, the border there. The British uh, colonies uh, set up all along here, and then we went to war, and Britain kept parts of these provinces, as did France. Quebec is French. But, okay, so we really do have uh, an epidemic. <clears throat> and let's update this real quick because I think like every five minutes this stuff just keeps going up. There you go. 28224. I'm going to check it in the morning. It'll probably go up. Now, as far as total deaths of the documented cases, and again, as I said, there's probably many cases that are not documented, many deaths that are not doc documented. It costs money to test each person that died, and if they didn't die in a hospital uh, and weren't tested prior to dying, uh, and the deaths are so high, the crematoriums over in this area, they just don't, I don't know that they have the resources to test every single person. I think what they're doing is just cremating them. And um, I'm going to put these notes down below, but I, I'm going to run another video tomorrow that might be a little bit longer. And I might edit this and fix it a little better. But I want to give you as much information as I can. Now there is a word limit on what you can post below. Uh, your videos so I might have to cut parts out but I will keep all the resources in there of what I took notes on that I'm going to add to this but I do want to say that um, this is serious and uh, there were a couple other things I wanted to do videos on I wanted to talk about this airliner and uh, I wanted to talk about um, Andrew Yang and the elections and politics in the United States, which I care about. But I feel like this is a world pandemic that's coming upon us and that we need to be prepared. I feel like that the World Health Organization needs to change its priorities and its rules. I think the deaths just went up. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I think this just went up. So basically, these little maps, um, there's, I'm just showing, this will be below, you can look at it yourself. Um, the link will, and um, you can follow it too, and um, you can change, you can play with the map, and, um, but okay, let's take a quick peek, uh, China not counting, uh, cremating, no funerals allowed. Uh, I don't think I spelled that right. Okay, here it is. China says Wuhan coronavirus victims who die should be quickly cremated without funerals as the death toll rises, okay? So what they're doing is if you die over in China now, they're cremating you, they will not allow funerals because they're afraid that it's gonna spread. And um, I believe that not everybody 
that dies is going to be tested. So I don't know that they really... Um, this is February 2nd. I'm, I'm going to put these two links below. And guys, I want to thank you for watching. And see these masks? These masks are not going to protect at all whatsoever. And on top of it, her nose is exposed and her eyes are exposed. Now, uh, there is a graphic here. I'm going to go in more detail about how to cover this. And in the meantime, if you want to watch Dr. John Campbell, he's going to give you a lot of detail, a lot of good uh, educational material there. I would, I would watch that. I've been watching it. I've been, I, I didn't watch... I watched uh, up to video 11. I'm going to put this below and I'm going to let you know this is serious and China is actually being very aggressive about how that the, are stopping the spread of it which I really kind of appreciate but on the other hand I feel really bad for these people because if we had uh, policies in place because there are ways to uh, have a funeral and a proper burial service for uh, a person that's, this is not, um, I don't know what happened with that. I tried to copy it and it didn't work, so I'm going to try again. But you could probably just Google this, um, but maybe you're in a country where you can't Google it, and um, maybe your English is, okay, so let's just go, um, Okay, so this is Business Insider, and this is American English. Guys, I really want to thank you for stopping by, and I appreciate uh, all your opinions and your information. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day. Don't overdo it. Stay home and rest if you don't feel well, if you can. Take good care of yourself, and there's some tips in here that I have. This is not medical or legal advice. I just want to put humanity first. And I'd like us to go over the transmission of most diseases here and discuss healthy habits in order to stop the spread of disease. Take care. Thanks again. Bye.